This is Eric White. This is the fifth screencast in this series on inserting and updating word processing ML tables of contents. In this part, I'm going to show how you can update the table of contents using an auto open macro. This may not be appropriate for all scenarios, but there may be some scenarios that this works for. If you are regularly generating documents for departmental use, you may want to use this approach. You can enable the auto updating of the table of contents for all users in your department. As you saw in the first screencast in this series, if you set the update fields element in the settings part, then when you open up a document that has had a table of contents inserted into it, you get a message from Word indicating this document contains fields that may refer to other files. Do you want to update the fields in this document? If we modify the TOC adder code so that it doesn't set the update fields to true and doesn't set the dirty attribute on the field for the TOC, and if we create an auto open macro, we can accomplish the same thing. First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to the add TOC method in the example code that I posted. I'm going to this line where there's the FLD CHAR element. I am taking out this attribute W colon dirty equals true. And at the bottom of that method, I'm removing the code to set the update fields element in the settings part. Let's save it and run the TOC adder example. Now when we open up one of these documents, we don't get that modal dialog box, but also the TOC is not updated. To use this approach to solve the TOC updating issue, first of all, you're going to need to make sure that your developer tab is enabled. Go to File, Options, Customize Ribbon. This is the checkbox here that you need to make sure is checked so that you have a developer tab. Then go to the developer tab and record a macro. We'll call this macro auto open. This is a special name. You must name this macro auto open. Then click stop recording. Click on the macros button and click edit. This opens the auto open macro. Enter a bit of code to update the table of contents. The on error code makes this macro work if either word is started without an open active document or if the document does not have a table of contents. Save the macro. This saves the macro in normal.dotx. Close the Visual Basic editor. Now when we open up one of these documents that has a non-populated table of contents, the TOC is updated. There's one more approach to updating the table of contents and that is to create a macro-enabled document. I'll discuss that in another screencast.